another lovely day here in Jordan and now I'm in uh, Wadi Rum and this is gonna be my last day in Jordan uh, yeah then I get to go to the Dead Sea later but as you can tell I'm in the back of a Jeep and I'm taking a Jeep tour of Wadi Rum and uh, they're gonna extend it for me for a about another hour uh, so I get to see some stuff that a lot of people usually don't get to see but it's great weather out here uh, I got this nice little canopy so I'm not gonna get sunburned but it's gonna be a bumpy ride, y'all. So I'm gonna put the camera away as we start getting into the desert. <laughs> play this record as frequently as possible. Then as it becomes easier for you, play the record once a day or as needed. Alright, so we stopped at a little Nebatean temple that they're uh, restoring and everything. That was pretty quick, but now, sorry, I'm getting a little winded. All this hiking to get to see so much cool stuff, but uh, going up now and we're going to check out this waterfall that's supposed to be, just be really cool. Um, yeah, a lot of hiking to get to see the cool stuff. Nothing's easy. So back in the Jeep and we are on our way now a short little drive about five ten minutes to the uh, the seek and it's like this where this underground water comes up and there used to be a waterfall and supposedly there's some like Nebatean uh, carving still in the wall so I'm pretty excited it is a bumpy ride but it is fun and the weather's great too it's like this is the first time in like two months I haven't been a hot sweaty mess uh, and it's great to be in a Jeep not having to walk so much, especially after all I did yesterday in Petra, but can't wait to keep seeing more of Wadi Rum. It's been pretty cool. And they're not they're not a ton of people out here. Uh yeah. Well, it's still raining, but uh, it's it's let up a little bit. But this is the seek. Uh, I'm the only one here too. It's pretty cool. Definitely feels like something like out of Star Wars. Like I'm just waiting for like like the desert people, the, the Tuscan Raiders, to show up on the on the cliffs and start yelling. <laughs> it's really cool though. Yeah, Wadi Rum. So much to see. It's just beautiful.
so I just got to my hotel. Uh, it is right next to the Dead Sea, so I'm gonna go down and take a dip in the lowest point on Earth. Uh, yeah, that's right, it's pretty cool. Like, the water here is like super salty, so you can actually like float, and the, uh, the mud's really good for your skin, apparently, so you're supposed to like, you know, cover yourself with it and let it dry for like 15 minutes and then wash it off. So I'm gonna go do all that now, and I'm gonna switch to the GoPro. What a day y'all, so Wadi Rum on a 4x4, that was so cool, um, it was just magical and I, the pictures and the videos I've taken, I, I looked over a few of them already and I know that it's not doing it justice, just the immenseness and how vast everything is in there is mind blowing. It was very cool um, and it's it's very strange to be out in the middle of nowhere. Yes, I was with uh, you know Joseph and the driver but it was still very strange to be like there is nobody else around us that I can see. Uh, it's very strange feeling. Uh, very cool though. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that Dead Sea footage. Uh, you know, it's a little little quick. Uh, I don't really know how to film myself swimming to make it look interesting, but it's insane. You walk into that water and you immediately just float. You pop up. You can't. I you know you put your arm down below the water and it wants to come up. You know you you're kind of fighting. Uh, it, that's so cool and you know I got to do the mud and Joseph told me he's like when you get done with that you're gonna be amazed your fin your skin feels tighter it feels rejuvenated um, and you're gonna have like just a burst of energy it's really strange he's 100% right my skin feels smoother it's tighter um, yeah and I feel like alive almost uh, very cool I'm so glad I got to do that but unfortunately this is my last day in last night in Jordan I should say tomorrow I'm doing a transfer to my next country so uh, I'm actually gonna be doing a border crossing on land which is something I've never done before on this trip so uh, pull out your maps before the next video and figure out what that next country is gonna be so I will see y'all in that next country